Hey everyone, it's Fizz here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Akko ASA black and pink keycaps. As a quick disclaimer, Akko did send this to me for review, but I was not paid at all and all opinions remain my own without any influence. These are made of PBT and they are double shot, but in the ASA profile. The box that comes in is really pretty, featuring a picture of the keycaps as well as some branding. I'm a huge fan of this type of packaging, and Aqua does have really nice packaging in general. Every product shows some amount of detail, rather than just plain cardboard. This box is pretty standard for their other keycaps too. The outer protection sleeve comes out nice and easy, and removing it reveals a hard shell type case. Just like the other Aqua branding, the logo does have some nice shine too. Opening up the box, we're greeted by the main product. And I really do enjoy opening the box because it is worth noting, it opens and closes via magnets, which I think is a great touch. A wired keycap puller is also included, which you will need in order to remove the keycaps from the case itself because they do have little pegs. The left side features most of the main keycaps, like the alphas and modifier keys, while the right side features other keycaps, such as the numpad, arrow keys, accent keys, and more. They also do have extra keys for different layouts as well as some novelties. I tossed these on my Brutal 60 with Akko CS Masha Greens. These are my favorite budget switches and if you haven't already seen it, I would recommend checking out the review. I thought the pink on this keycap set would match my Lilac Brutal 60 very nicely. I do also want to mention that these keycaps are similar to some existing sets with the color choice and I'm not going in depth but just consider that when purchasing. Without further ado, here's a typing test, and please do also note that sound profile varies on a numerous amount of factors, including keyboard material, switches, plate material, and more. Pink on the set is nice, but I am a little bit disappointed in how the pink isn't as vibrant as in the renders. I do enjoy the sharp legends, and I like the profile more than I thought I would. The sharp legends come from that double shot method they use, and they are decently thick. Overall, I like the set and I like ASA profile, but it's not something I would personally use on the daily since I prefer GMK or EPVT type fonts. At the end of the day, it is all preference, just like the whole keyboard hobby. If you want to talk to me, join my Discord. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, as well as follow my socials. Thanks for watching. Peace.